So the next step in the spanning tree protocol, after we elect a root bridge, we find the root bridge. And in this network, I added a another switch because Trixie was too thought the old network was lame, so she added hers switch in here and she became the root bridge because her bridge id which is made up of the port pro, um made up the bridge priority um and the mac address and she won because she had the lowest bridge id and if we look here from the temple router two is less than c so trixie becomes the root bridge so Every switch in a network will send out BPDU frames, these hello frames, they send out information like the bridge ID and the cost to the root bridge. So here it will send out a BPDU hello frame with a cost of zero because it's the root bridge. It doesn't cost anything to itself. So it sends it out both. And these switches will receive it, S3 and S2. So on these switches, it receives that on port fast FA0 slash 1, fast Ethernet. So with costs on Ethernet networks with Spanning Tree Protocol, gigabit is 4, cost of 4, and fast Ethernet is a cost of 19. So when it receives it, it adds a cost of 19. And this does the same here. This is fast Ethernet, and it adds a cost of 19. So now it knows that for S2 and S3, to get to the root bridge, it costs 19. So all the switches exchange that information. And if you look at it, for example, S2 going this way, this way, and this way is a cost of 19, 19, 19. The switch goes this way is a cost of 19, 19. And if it just goes this way, it's a cost of 19. So we try and find the lowest cost to the root bridge, and that um, will be our root port. So we have three different kinds of ports. We have the root port that goes towards the root bridge. We have designated ports and then alternate block ports that we need to choose from. And the first step after we elect a root bridge is to find the root ports. So these become the root port because it's the lowest cost to the root bridge. So let's go ahead and make that the root. And this is the root port to the root bridge. So it does the same thing, these switches, S2 and S3. So it will go ahead and send out those BPD frames saying, hey, to get to the root bridge, it costs 19. So it sends it out. It sends this out to all of the switches saying, hey, it costs 19 to get to the root bridge. Everybody else, through me. So let's focus on S3 for now. It sends it out here, cost of 19, and it receives it on fast Ethernet port, so it adds 19 to that cost, and we get 38. So for the temple router to go out this port, it costs 38 to get to the root bridge. So it does the same thing on here. So S2 says, hey, it costs 19 to get to the root bridge, sends it out this link, and this is fast ethernet when it gets to the temple router, and it adds a cost of 19, so it becomes 38. So we notice that to get to the root bridge for here and through here, it costs 38. 38. And we have a problem. The cost is the same. So we have a tie. So the next tiebreaker in the protocol is the neighbor bridge ID, made up of the bridge priority and the uh, MAC address. So whoever has the lowest bridge ID wins. So let's look at the neighbor side. So here we have two switches with two MAC addresses. And who has the lowest MAC address? Let's go through it. Zero, 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 zero from left to right. And we see this is six. And here's nine. So six is less than nine. So this side wins. S2 wins. 
So that uh, link becomes the root port on the temple router. So we'll make that the root port for the temple router. So now we found all the root ports for this uh, switching environment. So for example, if you had multiple links, um, that may tie also too between the temple and this S switch two. So the next in the protocol is the neighbor port priority. Every switch on a port has a port priority of 128 and you can pretty much manipulate every value. You can manipulate the cost, um, the port prior, uh, the bridge priority, all of it's so you can manipulate the flow of traffic if you want to. But let's say we had another link here. And let's say this connected to port four here because we have one, two, three, and this is four. So the next, if the bridge ID tied, because right, we are connecting to one switch and there's multiple ports, the cost is the same, right? Cost, lowest cost, lowest neighbor bridge ID. The next is the um, lowest neighbor port priority. And these are the same. So then the last one is a neighbor port number. So we can see this is four and this is three, FA0 slash three. So this still becomes the root port, this switch here, this port, because it has the lowest neighbor port number, if that was the case, if that was the case, if you had multiple links. But the reason why, again, this became the root port is because this switch had the lowest bridge ID because the cost was tied of 38.